Okay, the next step that we have to do after launching the website and downloading the file is to actually read it, right? We have to actually read the file. For that, what we have to do is we have to read it inside this itself. In it all, this. Okay? Right now. Okay. After we have done all this, we have to use read range to read that particular Excel, whatever we have downloaded. You can go with workbook and use read range. We have to pass the path to it of that input file and we are uh, telling that to read the headers also and let's define the range it has to read from a1 and the sheet name will be sheet name itself okay this will actually read the excel file read the input okay now we have to pass the value to it. What is the value of it? Let's go to the launch application. We have already mentioned that, right? So it's this. Copy that. Come to this and paste it. This is the path. But what happens? Okay, we are done. Anyway, the work will be done and it will read. But the readability of this is too low because if any changes that we have to do to this particular code we have to do it here and again here just to remove that okay let me uh, close this anyway we don't need this uh, message boxes right here close this and there was another message box this what I can do is instead of passing the same thing here okay and here okay and to reduce the changes that I have to do in case of any changes in this I can create a variable right here say control K file path enter just copy this over here too okay and pass this where is that this to this okay and you can now replace this with file name and you have to send this file name to this particular XAML also for that create an in argument saying in file name and the input type is string a little bit to the top and change this to in file name that's done and don't forget don't forget to basically pass the file name to this argument it's done okay so see any changes that you make here will be reflected inside this workflow and it will be reflected here also this is how we should design a project okay once we read it we have to save it into some variable right so let's call that variable as we are sending out value from this to main so it should be out argument out transaction data enter but when we do that it will be created as a variable but we don't want that to be as a variable okay delete it and create an argument and the output the direction of it is out the type of it is data table okay that's done if you're able to find the data type of a data table here you can go to browse for types and you can type data table okay and here it is so with that we have to be sending out this data table out so we are doing it and we have to capture this right here okay we have to create uh, this is a transaction data that we have okay so we have to pass this particular data table to this variable available in main so just click on import 
variables whatever we have created the data table here is available to this we have to assign to which it should be assigned its data table done it's saved okay let's see if you are able to get that data table out as we know to check if it, there is any value in the data table we can use output data table the transaction data to which we have assigned the data table and let me create a variable called str enter and I'm passing that str to this str okay right now let's have a quick run of whatever we have implemented what we have done is inside this we have added a functionality of reading the input file that we have just passed and then we have made some improvements to the file name thing okay so that it is reusable anywhere and it actually reduces any work if there are any changes it has to be made to the input file thing let's run it once run it has launched it it has clicked on save as it is passing on the value to it it has clicked on that and here is the data table okay, whatever input that it has uh, saved to our particular location it was able to read it so we are done with downloading the file, opening the website and reading it. The next thing, so we are totally done with initialization settings and all that. I'm stopping it and clicking on OK.